Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you also so much for subscribing. I've been receiving a lot of email and comments with questions and I apologize if I don't get back to you. There are certain emails that I'm guided to get back to, but for those of you who I don't respond to, I'm really, really sorry. I do read all of the emails and comments and questions. I just really don't have time to respond to everyone. I've been noticing a lot of other people responding to the questions and comments on videos and it resonates deeply with me and it helps to clarify some things that I share so that's been really helpful and so I thank all of you who's been contributing and sharing and voicing your opinions and thoughts. It's been really, really helpful. Um, so I'm in the middle of actually moving out of the state right now at the end of this month. I'm leaving New York City and Brooklyn after 10 years, so things are a little crazy. I don't post every day, obviously, but heading into the end of this month may make some of the posts a little farther in between as I do this move across the states. Um, but then as I get settled again, I'll get right back to posting because there's a lot of information on the back burner, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. Today's video is actually a Q&A video. I wanted to address something that's been brought up to me a few times. People have been asking questions or wanting my take on this idea of false light. And to be honest, I it was like slightly on my radar from a QHHT session that I had months ago in which my client, from her perspective, she saw Archangel Michael as a more negative, egocentric entity. Um, but then other than that, this idea of false light has only recently kind of popped into my awareness based upon what people have been telling me. So from where I stand, I know that each of us hold our own perspectives and energy, and that in turn creates the world that we each perceive. So when I had someone send me this information about false light, I was taken back a bit because it does come from a very fear-based duality frequency in terms of viewing spirituality, but at the same time, it comes with well-based concern for the spiritual community, which I can definitely see why. The person who sent me the information about false light basically was concerned because as she is awakening and furthering her ascension path and working with energy and Reiki and, you know, calling in ascended masters and archangels, it's a little disturbing to get hit with a piece of information like the whole false light thing, which can easily sway the stability of light workers. I quickly skimmed through the article and I don't want to link it here, but you can research false light if you want to. Um, so we're all in different places when it comes to our abilities or our journey, when it comes to channeling information, tapping into higher consciousness, bringing forward knowledge and awareness, and even working with clients um, as an energy worker or a light worker. So you have to understand that whatever you bring forward, no matter what it is, is always equal to the energy that you are holding within. So of course I think it's very possible for false information or false light to come forward if the person bringing that information forward is not in a high frequency energetic state or place to do so. So it's very important for you as the listener to use your discernment and inner truth and resonance with what you believe to be true. And the problem right now is that there is duality on the planet. And in the attempt to move from duality to oneness frequency or Christ consciousness, which is where we're headed into 5D New Earth, the duality is not going to easily give up its hold on the planet or the conscious collective. Although we've reached past the tipping point, but there's still duality, that's the point. There's still duality that's trying to hold on. So when it comes to fear-based things and duality consciousness, um, from an ascended perspective, you can see like the fear and the duality as a way to give you the opportunity to stretch the muscles of oneness and love that you hold within and can really 
give you that chance to hone and tap into your inner truth and stand more firmly in your knowing and your personal connection to source. And this then only propels you further in your inner ascension process. So I asked Abe about this whole false light thing, and I was curious to get their take on it from a non-duality perspective. So Abe is a high vibrational energy, very close to source energy. They're not elemental or dimensional like archangels or ascended masters or galactic beings. So their perspective is very overarching, more so from the perspective of source energy, which is also why sometimes the information coming through can be a little bit more vague and very much more open to interpretation and kind of Yoda-ish too, if you've noticed. Um, It's because it's reaching you from where you are energetically in your interpretation of it, not from me or Abe telling you where you are. And I do get a little overwhelmed with the information and wanting to interpret it in an overarching way for many of you to understand, especially videos like this. I want it to be able to reach you where you are. But Abe has been reminding me that it really doesn't matter about the information that I put out. It also doesn't matter about the energy of the person listening, whether you understand it or not. What matters is not the information, but the energetic vibration of the message, which will eventually later integrate into the person's energy when they're ready to receive it. Okay, so let's go right into the channel transmission, um, bringing forward the information that Abe had to say about this whole false light thing. And they say, gilded not light and they refer to the dark basically as not light. Um, Gilded not light is losing most high power on the stage of play, which is life on Gaia Earth. Gaia serves as the ultimate play, or more so prey, for loving human beings on planet Earth. For years, not cemented, was duality running rampant on your planet. Standing firm, knowing who you truly are, allows you not to be swayed in the lost duality that still exists in your open collective mind. Duality is very much losing power, but there is still much to do to release its grasp from the definite energy of the collective mind. The aim at spreading false light information is not necessarily to spread lost information. Real gilded high light workers absolutely will stand firm in more light, but false light information is open to those who do not stand firm in light, but who mostly stand in duality. False light is open very much to those who lose faith in love and source easily. Losing faith in love and source is the absolute goal for false light. Gilded information or channeled information, heart-based information from light workers, is rooted on the immense love for Earth Gaia. In taking Gaia's side in somewhat not easy gilded age of ascension, light workers integrate love and light, not to spread love and light, but to push out the not love and not light. Knowledge over Gaia's losing battle with energy of lost light not dark energy because there is no dark energy, only love, joins souls from all around the open joining galaxy in uniting energy of oneness and love to attempt finally to stifle healed energy of not light energy on earth. Years of joining fear in hearts of people collected fear in the collective conscious and unconscious, keeping Gaia earth rotating at a very low frequency dense energetic state. Lost planet, lost people, lost love in the hearts of people. Illusion of fear had taken over. Energy of not light can only be put out with energy of light on a duality-based planet. Because of the rules in the galaxy surrounding non-interference with people's experiences on Gaia Earth incarnation, members of the galaxy, mostly love energy, hearing the call for love and light-hindered people of Gaia, emerged to bring together a plan 
to save Ace Hindered Lost Planet in lonely neck of the woods in outer space as you would call it, we call it home. The transformation of the energy of Gaia had to come from a collective level on the ground of Gaia. Transformation of consciousness, losing not free will, the energy of not light had to be dismantled from a place where free will was still intact. In earth years, the plan would need time to grow. It would not be an overnight thing. With knowledge about the upcoming shifts of the planet, meaning the pole shift, and the knowledge of the low frequency energy on the planet, the plan was put in place so that the energy of Gaia and the people on her would shift into the new age of Gaia together. It started with the fun-loving hippies in what you would call the 60s and 70s. Spreading love and peace was their forte. It planted in the minds of people that there was much more to love than what joined them in war. Love and peace would be established in spite of warring minds. Oneness and connectedness was in the minds of these heart-based people because mostly duality existed on the planet. Energy of love and light continued to be incarnated on Earth in waves to help raise the frequency and energy of the planet, turning on light where there is darkness. It had to come in waves, each time raising the frequency and consciousness more and more. Think of dipping your toes in the pool. At first, it's cold as ice, but then you can dip more and more of your body into the water as you acclimate to the temperature. The temperature of love and light had to acclimate in the hearts and minds of those on the planet, as well as those who incarnated onto the planet, holding the love and light of source in their hearts. Even these people needed to be able to find their way home to their true knowledge of love and light from source. As the temperature of love and light began to more and more acclimate on the planet, it began to spread and hinder the not light on the planet. The not light, in desperation of keeping its rule on the planet, has gone through great lengths to keep fear and duality strengthened in the minds of unknowing people. Your planet is at a time in the great shift where you are past the tipping point and where the light has reached many hearts on the planet. The not light is holding on for dear life to avoid taking the journey back to source creator. It is at the stretching point. In attempt to save itself, not light is spreading to the light community to affect those who do not stand firm in their faith, love, light, and oneness. It is when the light holder and or light worker puts out their flame that the equal and opposite reaction occurs. As much light as the light holder or light worker held is now equally not light once they put out their light. This is the strength that light holders and light workers hold. It is important to stand firm in your light and protect your light. Discernment is key. As you stand firm in your light, knowing that all is truly well, nothing can take you away from your post station. Not rain, not snow, not sun, not wind, not even the temptation of an ice cream truck. You stand there, beacon of light, radiant with light, helping others find their way in the quote dark, guiding others to the light and out of the quote dark. As light workers, when you receive information from your spirit guidance teams, when you stand firmly in your connection to source, you are able to discern between the information given to you. You know in your heart when something is not right. You know in your heart when the information provided is heart-based, oneness-based, and love-based. And you know in your heart when it is not. There is no duality outside of lower dimensional constructs. There is only oneness. The information you receive is always based upon where you are energetically. Many different light workers will receive different information about the same thing because they are not all in the same place energetically. As you tune into your own inner knowing power, you have the ultimate power of discernment. For those who stand in their knowing power, information such as false light will not affect them. Focusing on lower frequency energy on your planet, or false light, 
only aligns you with more lower frequency energy and false light. Again, there is no fear or duality outside of the lower dimensional constructs. There is only oneness and love. So you must tap into the oneness and love and truth that you hold within you and your connection between you and source. From there, you will be able to stand firm in your place of knowingness and discernment based upon your inner truth and inner light. For defining light beings and dimensional beings, such as galactic families, ascended masters, and archangels, when an individual pulls in information or energy of the being, they do so based upon where they are energetically, joined with their inner beliefs. If the individual still exists in duality consciousness, it's possible that they may interpret or pull in the energy of the being into their 3D construct, which is duality based. The energy of the source, i.e. the galactic being or the ascended master or the archangel, is not duality based at the source. But once you pull in the information or energy into your 3D construct or reality, your interpretation of it will very much match where you are vibrationally. For example, if you believe that Archangel Michael has a quote good and a quote bad, then you pull from that energy of duality and bring it into your reality and your interpretation will be based upon where you are vibrationally and energetically based upon your duality, where you are in that duality consciousness. When you open your heart to oneness, then you open your ability to receive oneness in the information and knowledge that comes forth from higher dimensional beings or higher frequency energy connected to source. It all starts with your inner connection to source and your inner discernment. Open your hearts to love and oneness frequency. By doing so, you fill your mostly joined hearts with love and oneness frequency. All is connected, and in love and oneness, you are connected through source. Source shines the brightest and is the ultimate light switch that illuminates no shadows. Your collective conscious and unconscious mind, when illuminated with source love and source light, carries you into New Earth 5D. Find truth in yourself and you will not be swayed. In oneness, we are Abraham. Oneness and love be with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.